cheerful of face. Cheerful of face. <laughs> and glad of heart. Whatever the season. <laughs> we did that too, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, repeat after me. After you take this ring, you take this ring as a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. May we be younger than springtime. We be younger than springtime. Even to the autumn of our days. ceremony some time ago, I discovered I had no time to conduct any counseling with these two. <laughs> so we're going to do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to listen to me. <laughs> There's a man by the name of Dr. John Gottman who has researched and studied successful marriages. It's discovered that there are four differences between those who are successful and unsuccessful. And here's what he found out. Respect and consistent daily affection are the two top essentials for successful relationships. Criticisms and contempt are the two top destroyers. Number two, couples who remain married often experience just as much conflict but they put in more repair time. There is a five to one ratio of nice words to nasty <laughs> If you're having problems with your honey, he says add more honey. <laughs> Give a hug, cuddle, come. Certain kinds of negativity are so deadly to a relationship that Dr. Gottman calls them the four horsemen of the apocalypse. They are criticism, contempt, defensiveness, and stonewall. And number four, Dr. Gottman believes he can predict if a couple will be very successful or not so, not on how well they get along, but on how well they do not get along. A couple is only as strong as their weakest moments or how they handle conflict. So he has three suggestions as you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> One is called avoidance, which is the worst. The second is fighting. It's better than avoidance, but it's not healthy or helpful. The third one is called validation. It's a winning method. It means that you see things from the other person's point of view and you share all your views with each other with kindness because you're trying to find a win-win compromise. Translated, this counseling session means that when we're faced with conflict, we talk to our partners with the speed of life. We do not shut down and we do not attack each other. This counseling session is now over. <laughs> you both did really good. <laughs> We're not done yet, I know. <laughs> you did really good. And I was going to say, because you didn't speak very much, but you spoke quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't noticed, these two adore each other. And one of them is a clown. <laughs> So, here comes the sermon out. They say that marriages are made in heaven, and so is lightning and so is thunder. And you just saw today an experience of nature that might teach you something about your upcoming marriage. You will have your storms. You are guaranteed to have some lightning and thunder. But if you just noticed a few minutes ago, after every storm comes out 
the sun's shining. And if you're lucky, you get the rainbows. Somewhere right now there's a rainbow. I'm going to suggest it'll come from your smiles to each other. Smiles. <laughs> Sermon's over. <laughs> In recognition of the marriage between you, you can join hands. Accomplish in the uniting of your hearts by mutual love and confidence and in the conformity to the laws of this state by whose sanctions these visible expressions of your pledged fidelity have been given and received. As a minister acknowledged by the church, I do pronounce you to be husband and wife. May you together bring a new creative spirit to a world desperately in need of renewal. Let us pray. Lord, we hear thee in the silence. We stand before thee knowing and not knowing, afraid and not afraid. We hear the silence. We hear words unspoken, dreams not yet dreamt, pain not yet known, fullness not yet felt. We hear the silence. Babies crying not yet born, children reaching for and touching the stuff of life. We hear the silence and somehow know in this moment that we join with all those who have made this journey, with all those who will, because we hear and trust and love. Amen. 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 Now we see this benediction. Go placidly amid the noise and the haze to remember what peace there may be in silence. As far as possible, without surrender, be on good terms with all persons. Speak your truth quietly and clearly. And listen to others, for they have their story. Be yourself. Especially do not feign affection. Do not be cynical about love, for it is perennial as the grass. Nurture the strength of the spirit to shield you from sudden misfortune. Do not distress yourself with imaginings, for many fears are born of fatigue and loneliness. Beyond a wholesome discipline, be gentle with yourself. You are a child of the universe, and the universe is unfolding as it should. Therefore, be at peace with God. In the noisy confusion of life, keep peace with your soul. Lord, I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Matthew McDade. Woo! Oh, good job. It's okay. <laughs> Woo! Is this Liz's walkout song? Yes. <laughs> kind of like your, uh, My walkout walk song. song. <laughs> <Your baseball. laughs> 